I'm in. It's been eight years, Luigi. Eight long years. It's time for pure escapism. And not the demon slaying kind yet. The lads. This is this is so exciting. I don't even know why. It's just more Animal Crossing. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to, but first let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. Ha! We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now, we need to look at your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday. Well, I'm going with the usual name. That was my name. That was my name. In, uh, New Leaf. I'm gonna do my real birthday. Okay. Fine. Fine. Let's see. Oh, yes. Here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Vine. Could you imagine, like, the TV grows a camera? Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Pretty pale, so... I'm fine with the default cut and color, actually. That's, that's kind of... kind of perfect. There we go. Where's, um... Chat. Oh, here's a little something I found while going through some some stuff for Red Vox stuff. That could be. How do I get this? I need that face. If we didn't do Vine confusion, I feel like that could have also been some kind of stank emote. Oh, those are some shit posting eyes if I've ever seen them. Kind of a Lenny face. I might. I, I think. I think I like the the Lenny face. The, the sad eyes are cool. Then he chews a V mouth. Yes. Get fucked. Vinny, you're gonna have to live with this for, for the rest of your life while playing this game. This is true. You can change it in a mirror later on. Alright, good enough. I, I think I'm fine with this. Cheeks. Oh. Okay. It's not oblivion, but it'll do. D just as default as you can motherfucking get. That's okay, I'll have a duck hat soon enough. We're 
proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both, both the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. So tell me, Vine, where do you live now? Live now. North America. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So, naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> uh, there are a few more decisions to make, but that does that sound okay to you so far? Okay! We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. Don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort, you can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. Let's see, what- what's- which island are we gonna go for? Hmm. I like this one because there's a little island in the middle of- of the rivers. I think four is... I, I like that a lot, actually. Except none of the rivers go left or right. You know, like, they don't go off the screen to the left or right, but a four is... Four is cool. Four island. Right in the middle there, for Cherry. Wonderful choice! <laughs> I can't wait to show it off to you. But before we depart, I have just one final question. If you could bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? Uh, pi pizza? Something to kill time? Something... Something to kill. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Chartered flight is ready for boarding. Chartered fright as, we, as you get ready for killing. Perfect timing, come on. Let's all board the plane together! Good, good evening, everyone. I regret to inform you all flights have been cancelled. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s Deserted Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. It's, it's the music. It's the famous music. Is that a little French horn? Is that what that is? Trumpet, I guess. Muted trumpet. You don't know how jealous I am of the people that tweeted at me. Like, four or five people tweeted to me, Vinny, I got Scoot as my first villager. Envious, rather, you know? They're having such good times. we go. Summon Scoot with your Scoot emotes. This is the one time I'll ask you to spam emotes. One time! Summon him. Okay, you just, like, broke the chat. The chat is completely... ...clogged up with Scoots, and I didn't get Scoot. Oh, fuck. Alright, never mind. We're here. Now, I know you must be in No, I didn't say scoop. I said scoot, not vine scoot. Now, I must- I uh, know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. 
Would you please join us for a short orientation session nearby the plaza? In the nearby plaza. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move... Louie. Talk later, jog now, let's go. You're no scoot. You're not even a good subs to scoot. And D.Va. We can chat later, I want to see where this is going. Oh, okay, so I got Dong and D.Va. My first task in Animal Crossing New Horizons is to drop fruit and then not be able to pick it up. Well, a f frog is cool. I'm fine with a frog. We're finally here. I wonder what the guides want to tell us. I wonder if it's important. Probably is. My name. Palm Lukem. Alright. Is that everyone? Let's see. Is Diva here? How about Louie? And there's Vine, of course. Great. Well, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nuke. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Chat, how do you guys feel about, like, a, a purplish, bluish, froggy chair? Yes, yes, very good. Let's see. How shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations. You are now indentured servants to me <laughs> for the next foreseeable amount of years. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. Except for the salt mines, we don't cover that. But first things first, yes, yes! I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own, the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. Do you have some certain connections in construction and real estate, and well, I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's just get started with simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Here you go, Vine, your very own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then do the thing. I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. Once you've put up your tent, please find your way back here. <laughs> Use your new map if needed. How oh, well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. I'm just excited to hear the new Animal Crossing music, too. I'll make map big. I can't yet. I can't yet. Okay, so, um... Let's see, is there... Let's see if there's anything... on this little island. No, this island is pretty much inaccessible for now. I kind of want that to be my whore island. Like, I don't want to put Cherry on that island. I want it. Can I not cross any of these rivers? Like, am I just stuck to this one little... Find the river. It's a good REM song. Not yet. Okay. You're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Vine, right? See? I told you I got it. I'm D.Va. Gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, you know? Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it is a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. Um, visually this game is very nice. It's chill. I like... It's just, you know, more Animal Crossing with really nice trees little volumetric lighting, or, you know, like, um, I like that I can, I can see the lighting. <laughs> I don't know what that means, sorry, I'm not making any sense. 
But, yeah, it's nice. Can't wait to destroy all of it. Well, I'm just gonna set it up here for now. First decision has been made. No, it cuts down a tree. I don't wanna... I think I still lost the tree. Set up my tent, that's a big first step. Nope, tree's still here. I can't see my mail- I'm gonna have to cut that tree down. My mailbox is totally... obscured. Hear me out. Animal Crossing VR. Vinny, just relocate the tree. I will. Someone said, I bet that tree is a cherry tree. I got cherries on the island. Fine, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? The first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance, yes, yes? I don't care, as long as it's not directly in front of my house, you guys can set up your tents wherever. You already found a good spot, huh? I was just trying to feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay? I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. It's fine. Oh, if you're sure. Actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here... Looks nice, don't it? Yeah, it's fine. Awesome. From now on, this won't just be anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home sweet home. Can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock, you know. I wonder how that Louie guy's doing. Might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you should go see if he needs some help, too. Don't care, not scoot. I like this water graphics. Yo, I'm Louie. You're Vine, right? Nice to meet you. Hoo-ha. Hoo-hoo-ha. What? <laughs> You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but... I don't know, what do you think? hoo It's fine. You think so? Awesome. Okay then, how about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here... I like your tent better than my tent, Louie. Pretty cool, right? I, I now have my very own Donkey Kong. Yeah, Louis's like voice in game should be a little deeper. Alright, looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down some stakes right here and never look back. Hoo hoo ah! That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. Don't tell me you've already helped Diva out too. You're like like a true champion. I just got here, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm gonna reward you for this once I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza. Hoo hoo ah! Like a champ. This game is gonna be a fun stream, tell you what. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Diva, Tommy, and Louie can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Vine and I will work on gathering firewood, perhaps a little snack. Alright, everyone, let's get to it. Um, how do I uh, harvest their organs? 
and make, like, Psykite. And, oh wait, that's RimWorld. Different, different game. Ah, uh, Vine, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the cherry-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real cherries. No shit, Tom Nuke. This is Bappy Tutorial Games. You think the developers of Doom are playing this... ...right now? They probably are. <laughs> Their reward for shipping the game on time... Well, not really on time, it was delayed. But then again, so was Animal Crossing. Both delayed, both releasing on the same day. Honestly, if I made a game like Doom, uh, I was looking at nothing but Doom for like four years or three and a half years or whatever, I'd probably want to just chill out with a game like Animal Crossing. It's like the perfect opposite. Boy, I didn't realize how close Diva's tent was to my own. Fuck. I thought she was, like, further down this way. Can I evict villagers and harvest their organs? Oh, good, good, Vine. Looks like you've managed to collect the tree branches. Hmm? You found even more than I asked. You only need ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what we need off your hands now. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. What the fuck are you doing, Louis? You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh ho. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you're collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here, and they, they look like cherries. They smell like cherries. They even taste like cherries. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine cherries, so will you collect six of them for me? I'm sure you don't need much guidance here, but just in case, blah blah blah, tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. Thanks, Tom. Cherry is with us in spirit. Some very... Just, just chill visuals, like the, the little flowers and stuff. Again, this isn't a graphically demanding game. Animal Crossing never has been. But it's- it's real nice! Vinny, I got Scoot. At this point, just tweet all your- all your Scoots to me. If you got a Scoot, tweet him. I'm not happy about it, and I will... I will look on with great envy. Well, well. I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those cherries and get started on preparations. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Ooga shaka, ooga, ooga, ooga chaka. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to New Island. This is like when Ayla, Chrono, Luca, Marl, and Robo went to prehistory and hung out and started, like, drink many times. And then, uh, they got drunk. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. Perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Ho ho! Now, we may not have the kind of numbers I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... 
Oh, I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? Well, what should we call it? Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. Fire Festival? <laughs> Uh, I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. I don't think I can name it Whore Island, chat. We should put it to a vote. Majority rules. So take a little time to think, and when everyone's ready, I'll present your ideas. Hoot. Oh, Hootie. No, Hoor. I'm just gonna call it <laughs> So, wait a minute. If I call it Hoor, does that call it Hoor Island? So, I have to call it Hoor Island, right? Like, I don't want it to be Hoor Island Island. Koholint? No. I love the name Koholint, but Brian Altano's already got that. Ah. Uh... Oh. Wait. Poor Isle. Island. Don't include personal info or offensive words. That's not offensive. That's, that's an old nickname. Alright, is everyone ready? <laughs> Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go. Rocks a lot, is led to biceps. Each one is a potential gem. Now for voting, I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Vine seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibility, so let's start there. Vine suggested... Poor Island. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Hoor Island. Splend I then from now on, this island will be known as Hoor Island. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned from Nintendo. That's it. That's it. I'm never gonna be able to play Animal Crossing or any other game ever again. Since you've proven yourself by naming Hoor Island, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Oh, sure. I'm the best decision maker after that. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Hoor Island. Hoor is Dutch for here. There you go. It's Dutch. Vine, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? A word or two. Hmm, so, we've settled on a name for our island, we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. It's a cherry juice. Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from cherries, our new resident representative harvested on this very island. And without further ado, a toast to Hoor Island and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. Vacation juice. This really is fire Festival. Bro, you gotta come to Tom Nook's Getaway Festival. You're gonna have a great time. What's this? There's like a little invisible thing I have to jump over there. That's weird. Nice tambourine, man. Having fun, I'm gonna kick off a new workout routine tomorrow, so I'm taking it easy tonight. Hoo hoo -ah. Gotcha beat, sorry. 
I've never settled an island before. Hoor Island. This is gonna be rad, you know? Yes, rad. Change the R to a different letter. You handled your tasks perfectly. We've got a nice campfire going. We're here to act as your support staff, but we've never lived on an, un uh, an uninhabited island before either, so I'm not sure how helpful we'll be in this unfamiliar place, but we'll rely on each other as fellow residents. Ah, fine. Having a good time? Yes. I know this is a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. First, you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm? Just a few items that you might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl to bed and stuff. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, yes. So that's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Vine. This game is too cute. Magic. How- how is there so many graphics in this game? Oh, I like this. Instead of locking to different... ...you know, predetermined spots, you can rotate the camera smoothly. That's a nice new feature. I, I, like, people that don't play Animal Crossing must be utterly confused about the excitement. Someone in my chat is probably like, why is this dude excited about being able to rotate a camera smoothly around a player? Like, like, th there's gotta be some, like, severe confusion. Rest my head for a little while. Yes. There's just, I don't know, man, I've been playing Animal Crossing since the first one came out on the GameCube. Well, there was originally Animal Forest on the N64, but that didn't come over to the United States, so Animal Crossing on the GameCube was the first one we got that was localized. And it was a great game. KK, hi. Uh, and I loved it, and I played a lot of it. That's where I first got Scoot. But I also really enjoyed Wild World. New Leaf, you've seen me play a million times on stream. And uh, City Folk, I played probably the least amount of, but it was still good. So it looks like you've decided to make your very, your way, your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. It's all the way right, daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone else's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah. But take it from a cat who's been on the road, you're not a cat. How many people have said that already on their streams? Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world of Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. But just not now. You know, you probably want to stay in your tent for a couple months. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh! But listen up. That rap I just gave you about your friends? Pretty key. You dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. If that's your scene. Yeah. An island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. <sighs> dig that island life. I'll catch you later. When you wake up, it will be nearly 1 a.m. and none of your village or friends will be awake and you can do nothing. Have fun. Just checking Twitter, and the amount of people that are tweeting at me that they have Scoot and or Cherry is, like, mind-blowing. Are you in there? Oh, I, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. He said the thing. 
I slept that long? Oh, ho, ho. Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip in a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Shit, that's gotta be at least $800. It's your very own Nuke phone. I had these made especially for island residents. I wanted to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me? Hmm? Mental. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Feel free to put it away now. Don't you dare look at your phone while I'm talking to you. Say, Vine, have you ever used a smartphone before? I have one of my own. Very good, then this should be a breeze for you. In, in fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. Oonga Boonga, caveman thawed. Play Animal Crossing, no phone, Oonga Boonga. I have one more thing for you. It's your itemized bill. I was gonna make an Encino Man reference, but I don't think m very many people know what the fuck that is. It's a Brendan Fraser caveman thaw out movie, you know. So this includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labor tax, and of course your Nook phone, hmm? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. That 800 was for the phone. Vinny Encino Man was Pauly Shore. I thought Brendan Fraser was, was a uh, caveman. Okay. It was both. Oh, they were both in it. Got it. Thanks. Yes, yes. Well then, wait. You don't have any bells? I can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? Well, it is quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Hoor Island! I dare say the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nuke Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much, much more. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees. But with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nuke phone. Just open Nuke Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to this island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to the few, a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Hoor Island and a client of Nook, Inc. And my indentured servant for life. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo. I can't shoot, though. I have to play Doom to shoot. From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch power when you see autosave. You can also save and quit your game pressing minus. Gonna have to cut down that tree real quick. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present. Keep an eye out for future updates. Congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd sure like we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. Thanks, Nintendo. When do I get to pay real money for more gifts? I got a Nintendo Switch. Damn, Nintendo. Pretty badass. Imagine that. Nintendo just sent everyone, like, a, a free Nintendo Switch. That Animal Crossing Switch looks pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. More meta advertising. Resident Evil 3 had a poster for Resident Evil 3 in the game.
pictures and stuff. Okay, so it's just photos and things like that. You can zoom in. Take my very first photo. I want to blink though. I'm not much of a photographer. I'm going to wait for the blink. Fuck. That wasn't even close. I'm going to be de deleting a lot of pictures tomorrow. Yes! Yes! Did I <laughs> I got it first try. For those wondering why we like Animal Crossing, you just, that's it, right there. Nook Miles. Get them for completing activities, and then you trade those miles for various perks and goods. Make the most out of island life. So, you traveled a long way to move into our little island, and you were enrolled in the Nook Mileage program, so you earn your first miles. 500. Good. It's more than I expected. Um, so I need to catch 10 fishies while fishing for fishies to get more. Resident togetherness. Gregarious Greetings Initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles for chatting with residents. Um, catching bugs. Flowers. To grow flowers. Um, amount of fruit you've sold. Shellfish. That you sell. Hoard. Hoard reward. Put more furniture in your house. I need one more for that one. Island Shutterbug. Oh, I got uh, another one for taking pictures. Edit credit. Folks who customize their profiles. Bulletin board benefits. I got a post in the uh, bulletin board. Is that a noose? Exterior decorator. First custom design. Don't create anything that infringes on others' rights. Chat, do not infringe Vine Sauce or me. But if you have anything cool that you want to show me, maybe I can use it. I think I need the app, right, to take QR code pictures. You can hold a lot more designs this time. Call this hopeless. Endless. Oh, 
No, it's better. It's hopless endless. It just means it can't hop. It's fine. Take those miles, thank you. And we'll have this thing paid off in no time. Oh, there's the map. Press X to change the settings. Resident services, airport. Cool map system. Any map always on. Passport. This information may be seen. Comment. Add a short comment. I'm gonna do the Liam Gallagher thing. Hey, step right up! Come on, you know! Taking that. <laughs> Some really easy miles to claim. You can use the amiibo cards at resident services. I mean, the only resident I want is Scoot Rescue Service. Oh, if you, like, are terrible. Like, you get stuck in a rock somewhere, you can call rescue services. Cherry. Mm, no! No, I'm good. No! Oh. You're out late. Fine, thanks a ton for earlier. I got my tent all set up and running thanks to that pep talk. The brochure said we'd be living on an uninhabited island, so I was all ready to go solo, you know? I could totally go for having Rockstar like you around, though. Let me know if you need anything. Are you missing a glove, perhaps? I was thinking about how to thank you. I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Alright, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. Ah, uh, a smoke frog. If you've never done a DIY project, you should ask Tom Nook to help you out. He's doing free DIY demos at, resi at resident services. What's up, you know? Come on, you know! Lay it on me. Tom Nook's doing sign-ups for a DIY demo session. Probably like the PAX demo. Imagine them doing a PAX demo for this game and just having it be like 15 minutes of learning the tutorial crafting service and not any of the fun stuff. Like, finding gloves... across the map. Oh, it was exactly that, yeah. Must be sleepy time. No, wake up! Damn it, Louie. Are these all weeds? Man, this, this place needs some serious de-weeding. I guess it was a deserted island. I like that you can carry many, many, many stacks now instead of just like a couple. There's already like a lot of uh, inventory room. I think there's going to be more that you can upgrade later. Can you rotate the camera outside like you did in the tent? No. So you have... Oh, moon looks nice. Uh, you got a couple of options. You got this, you got zoom up, and you got look up. That's it. Very, very, very basic. Which, I've always said Animal Crossing would be nice with a, a third-person option. So it could be like Fortnite. We need a gardener. 
I need to set one of my villagers on priority one for gardening, cutting weeds. Plant cut. Uh, let me create a post. You know what, chat? I'm just gonna, like, use my touch pad. I'm gonna use the touch screen. I'm gonna create a post. You won't see it, but uh, you'll see it when the, you know. Come on, you know! Just give me a second here. I'm gonna... I have, uh... W what are those things? Conductive... things? Why can't I use my words? I don't know what's happening. It's, um, stylus. Conductive stylus. It's somewhere. And I want to just draw something... Draw something very quickly. Where is the conductive stylus? Hmm. Good. Lost it. Excellent. Vinny can't see. I know, I have the switch in my hand. I'm using handheld mode so I can use the touchscreen. Alright, so fine. Finger it is. This isn't... Really... Indicative of my full potential as an artist, as many of you know. Um, I tried to draw Lenny, but I just kind of drew fingers with dots on them. My full potential as an artist would have been me drawing the rest of the hand. Be taking those miles now, thank you. What did it say? Influence? Oh, that's me. Ugh. Hey Vine, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. Funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little power. I need an axe, please. If you want to earn some bells, he has some rather generous policies of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. One more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful. So I do hope you take me up on it. I see you've discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own... Where do you go to the bathroom on this island? Is there toilets? Their own tools and receive a set of... In the river. DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for island life, hmm? So I shall put you down for the next available session. Okay. Yes, yes. That's the spirit. The island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Time? Vinny, they're animals. Well, I'm not. I'm human animal. And I require... Like a squirt. Like a bidet. They bidon't. I bidet. I... I bidoo. Welcome to my... I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. This is really... There's a lot of people here right now, and you don't need to be. You can be anywhere else, and then you come here and you have to hear that shit. 
Welcome to my DIY workshops. I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and craft using a work uh, bench like this one. Today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we're, we're, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Come see me once you've collected the material. It's good materials. Someone said, lost 20k viewers, lol. But... That would mean I have negative 10k viewers. How does that work? What does that mean? If you have negative 10k viewers... Does that mean that 10k people are telling other people not to watch me? It means you had 30k and now you have 10k. I see what you mean. I like my version better. Where I had 10k and now I have negative 10k. Ten K doesn't even sound like a real word anymore. Ten K. What does ten K mean in another language? I'm sure it means something. T E N K E with the fucking tilde above it. It sounds like it would be thank you in maybe some other language. Thank you. Thank you! Danke. It's German. Danke. Ah, Vine. Found the necessary materials. Well then, let's get started on crafting the fishing rod. Yes, yes, to begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try! This game is hard. How does one... Play this game. Flimsy fishing rod. And this is basically what PAX was showing of Animal Crossing, in my understanding. I didn't actually wait online for the demo, but as people were playing it, it was this. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes, hmm? That, that concludes my free DIY workshop. There's just one last thing, I have a few common DIY recipes for you free of charge. I'll just need to send them over to your nuke phone. Would you mind opening it up? Oh man, Animal Crossing and technology. Free, he says. That'll be another 10,000 bells. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use any time. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I want my own bench. 100 bells each time you use the phone? Wouldn't be surprised. My first hundred bells. Oh fuck, I made- I sent a text. Uh-oh. It's gone. Finny keep shaking them. Oh, you can- you can shake a lot. Shake, shake! Ah, would you like to invest in the stock market? Yes? Oh, and it's gone. Oh, you've collected some bells, and it's gone. Hey. 
What game had a spin mechanic where you would, like, twirl the stick <laughs> and the character would spin? Pokemon. Alright, okay. Show you a master. I've been playing Hades. I know how to fish. This is master angler. I am. I'm Emery V. I am. Yes, I caught a black bass, the most metal of all fish. Black bass. Metal? Like a black bass? What are you doing? What does that mean? I caught a stone. Now it's all mine, mine roll, mine, mine, mineral, mine roll. Oh, Carl, you're an idiot. Play a record. I like that you can shake trees while you have your fishing rod out. I was gonna say just rod, while you have your rod out, but that was that would have been weird. Not the bees. Not this time. I like that someone has to actually compose anxiety music in Animal Crossing. Like, that's someone's job. And what's the context for this one? Oh, uh, bees. Alright, thanks. Anyway, crafting system is new, for anyone who's new to the series. And, um, it's just another way to... ...do things. <laughs> How could I forget? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life at the moment. Nook Stop? Hmm. At the moment, you can use two services, Vine. First is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, Terminal Service is an automatic bell dispenser, or ABD, for the Bank of Nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook Miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed, yes, yes. Once per day, accessing Nook Stop will award you daily bonus miles. Elephant slide? That's in the game, but... Froggy chair is not? <laughs> and I gotta get that. Ah, uh, Vine, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I found a creature. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a black bass. Hmm. Sorry, bass. If this island can support a black bass, who, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. Vine, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum. I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Okay! Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your black bass. In this tiny little bag. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Critterpedia. <laughs> Centerpedia. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you continue to fill it with your discoveries and share them with me, too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward, hmm?
Vinny, go to the airport to get Scoot. I'm in no rush. We can get Scoot. Scoot is- will be here. That much I know. When Scoot be here, who know be here, but not now. It doesn't matter. Scroot. Dwight Scroot. Oh, you have to actually, like, read the cards. Oh, I see. I see. Um, I, honestly, I'm surprised crafting wasn't in Animal Crossing before this. It's just such an obvious thing for this game. Oh, right, that's still a thing. D-pad. Hey, who are you calling a D-pad? Can I really not find 100 bells? Okay. Are there any microphones on the Switch? Or the Switch controllers? Hmm. Your order will be delivered shortly to your home through the mail. Man, even in Animal Crossing, everyone's doing their shopping online. Hardwood and iron nugget. Welcome, welcome. Don't waste any time, do you? We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods to our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. Great! Sleeping bag and barbecue. Oh. Oh, there's this stuff, too. I can't afford any of it. We'll also buy things, including stuff you've gathered on the island. Because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. Nice. Oh, how silly of me to forget. I need to give you a brief inter introduction for that box there. That is a recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, if you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. The box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. I'll take that. Cardboard box. Ah. Snakey! Snakey, you need to use the box. Oh, Vine, it's great to see you. The campfire was a lot of fun. We're here all night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything island-related. I'll be out and about during the day, checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you want to do, what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. I could just make a fuckload of weed brellas. And then just sell them. Alright. 
That's that's that is how stonks work. Internet surfer. I want the title of butthole surfer instead. That's it's a band chat. Maybe some of you have never heard of that band, and, and that would probably came across as a very weird statement, but don't worry about it. Critterpedia. Oh look at that. You even get to see their their full details and art and everything. That's nice. A lot of fish and bugs. If you eat fruit, you will work faster? I don't know if that's true, that's just what someone in chat just said. Hmm. Uh, hang on a sec, how'd you get in here? Could've swore I locked the front door. It doesn't matter, we're still getting set up here, so there's no flights today. Sorry about that, should be open for flights tomorrow though, so... Be sure to come on back then. All right. Sign reads, message cards coming soon. No scoot tonight. It doesn't look like we're getting a, um, a workbench anytime soon. Let's see what Diva's tent looks like. Even lamer than my tent. Hey, you showed up, you know? Let's talk. Kinda moved here on a whim. I'm not sure I brought enough bells with me, you know? Like, you hear deserted island and you think you're not even gonna need money. Well, yeah, I need a plan. I heard I can get bells selling fruits and weeds and stuff to Timmy. If I do that, maybe I'll be alright. Give Tom more critters. Alright, I will fetch Tom more critters. It's what he wants. The sounds of the ocean are very nice and calming. I feel calm! Sorry. like fish. Yeah. This empty can could be repurposed. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Big big lad. Yes. C bass. No wait, it's at least a C plus. Oh God, their puns are getting worse. They ran out of all the good ones years ago. Like Vinny tier puns. Yes, caught a dab. Not bad. Thank God, there wasn't a custom dab animation for catching a dab fish.
There's a lot of dab emotes in Twitch chat right now from many, many different channels. I don't know what it is. It's just a movement that a human body can do. It's just, it's the way you move, you move your arms into a weird position and you move your head down. That's all it is. But yet it fills me with rage and I don't know why. I think it's the connotation. It's the implication. I am Boomer Sauce, that's right. I don't know how to dab chat. My arms don't make those do things. They don't do them things. Caught a fresh water goby. Time to go bye bye. Wait, what? Goby? Goby? Go bye bye? Goby? Go goodbye? Goodbye? I haven't seen any insects. This camera is good for fish. That one right there. That, that's more like- this is more classic Animal Crossing. A little bit. This is more... New Leaf. Fuck! I can't wait until I get more island. Can't wait to build my house on- on- See, now that's- This is Hoor Island, so what's that? What's that little island called? Boop! Hoor Inlet Slut Island? Flavor Town? Hen Island, haha. <laughs> I'd probably wear these if I found another boot. Recycled boots. Succulent plant. DLC for this game wouldn't be too hard to do. Like, even if it's just, like, a little update with, like, 40 more recipes. I mean, yeah, it would, it would be like, you know, they'd have to model all the stuff in, but it seems like they could probably do some... You could probably do some decent updates for this game if they wanted to. There's tons of DLC coming. Perfect game for it. Caught a squid. It's off the hook. Splatoon reference. Very nice. Also, that is a very... ...like, detailed squid. It's weird seeing all this stuff on Switch graphics, because we went from 3DS... ...to Switch. Like, the best visuals... ...were either City Folk on the Wii, or the 3DS version. I'm not really sure. I guess the 3DS had the better visuals. Alright, goodbye, Squid. Thank you for your service, faithful, flimsy fishing rod. Oh, wow. So that's what happens. Breath. It's Breath of the Wild Animal Crossing Edition. We got all the wrong updates! All the wrong changes from Breath of the Wild! What's that? You want a big, expansive world? You want an incredible physics system? Gorgeous vistas? Nope. 
Now your shit breaks, dog. Should I craft something? Yeah, let's craft some, uh, some, some bullshit. Whatever. Craft this bullshit. Kinda hoping to find that other boot so I can get some... Big boot. Oh, gotta craft another fishing rod too. Suck! You lint. Ah, Vine, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I found more creatures. Splendid, let's have a look. Wow, what a catch. I do believe this is a squid. Would you mind if I sent this along? By the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? I have. That's great! Come to think of it, I did see you tinkering around over there just a moment ago. That reminds me, I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Thanks, man. I can't wait to build a basement graveyard. Like I did last time. I sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood along with the recipe to craft an axe. Yes, I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island. Because so many other things are made of wood, hmm? I hope you keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. Yes, yes. There you go, Bagobi. Just send that along to the museum. Belongs in a museum! It's my Harrison Ford impression. I'm sure you're aware. Red hyacinth bag. Just a little sampling of the product we sell. Go ahead and do some planting. After a few days, you'll have beautiful blooming flowers. Give it a whirl. Shame I can't, like, um, deposit multiple. Remember the flower samples I gave you? I forgot to mention something. The flowers will grow, will be very strong. They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. But if you water them each day, that's when something magical happens. Watering opens up the possibility of propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare colors. Rare colors? What? How might you water them? Well, I've just sent you a DIY recipe for watering can. I like the progression in New Horizons so much more than previous Animal Crossing games so far. It's just a new dopamine hit every, like, 14 seconds. And then you're like, oh, well, I don't have the recipe materials yet, but soon I will. It really makes every part of the island, every little thing you find, just becomes 10 times more interesting. Well, maybe, maybe 1.5 times more interesting. Hold the phone, someone's calling. Blathers, is that you? Oh, what splendid timing. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. Currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Hoor Island. Yes, yes, the local fauna are just as abundant as expected, just as I told you. How many precisely? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet, but I've received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Hmm. What, seriously? Well, that's very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me, I'm with a customer right now. He's moving in. Sorry to keep you waiting, that was my friend Blathers, the one who curates the museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our little island and help us identify and preserve local creatures. But I could use your help, fine. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? You need a good-sized space to really build out a world-class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting, it's all coming together. Well, I need something to cross the rivers, like the vaulting pole. That would be helpful.
game resets at 5 a.m. by the way? What does that mean? Precisely. Oh, that's when the day begins. I see. Thank you. Also, I like that this place is open at currently 1.30, excuse me, a.m. I always had that issue with previous Animal Crossing games until New Leaf's update, where I'm a night owl, clearly. I like to stream late, and I couldn't do much because everyone was sleeping and the stores were closed. So it seems like I could still get a lot done. It's open 24-7. So, I'm gonna just do a couple more things in this game and then switch over to Doom. I know many of you would prefer to see me stream Animal Crossing. And some definitely want to see Doom. But, there's only so much I can do at night. And I'm happy to, you know, just check out the game for a little bit and then play a fuckload of it tomorrow. So, that's what we'll do. I've been anticipating Doom just as much, so this is going to be equally exciting for me. Don't forget to put Blathers down. Yeah, I gotta do that. That's correct. That's a good idea. Um, again, I would love to put Blathers' museum across the river. Gotta put him down. Sorry, Luigi. Oh no, Mario! What did he do?! He pecked my eye out, Luigi! I got no eye! Wait, so my goal now would be to get that... the vaulting stick. Does anyone know how to get that? Blathers gives you the pole item. You can move buildings later. You can move the museum later. Cool, thanks. Wood and soft wood. Oh god, there's different types of wood. That noise when you claim Miles sounds like the beginning of Hyrule Field from Ocarina of Time. Like just as the, the day begins. A little bit. I respect wood. Eh, I, I respect wood. Starting my own company called Latte Larry's where you can come and have a cup of coffee and respect some wood. Well, wait a minute. I want to knock this damn tree down. I guess I need a better... I might need a better axe for that. Eat fruit, then chop. Only shovel? Mental. Little pill bug. Yes! I caught a pill bug. That's a tough act to swallow. Oh. Every time I see the word yes in this game, I can't help but think of Gordon Ramsay.
Pockets are already full. With a pocket full of shells. Alright, let me put down blathers. Yeah, that, that, that's actually quite good. It's fine. It's got two trees perfectly in the front, but it had to get rid of a couple trees. Nice to forget about real life for a little while. Vinny, get the gold. Does it go away? It despawns. It shouldn't. Yeah, it does. Why would it despawn? I'll let Blathers know he can move in as soon as he wants. I hate to see you push yourself too far, but no fur off my nose if you want to rack up those nook miles and pay me back quickly. Got a few tips. Alright, let me just, um, clear up some inventory space real quick. So I can pick up the gold. There it is. I need soft wood for that. Flowers down. That's one way to do it. Okay. Um, you can have this bug. Never mind. I'll, I'll keep the bug in my pocket. Boot can be crafted into new shoes. Wait, did. Are you implying we can do some new boot goofing? Just saying new boot goofing gets you claimed. Um, we put the bench. Save, um, uh, sell gold. Okay, I can do that. But first. Now we're good. It's almost home. Vinny, eat fruit for easy miles. Tomorrow. Oh, 
put that down. Um, man, it sucks that that tree's there for now, but we'll get rid of it eventually. Let's put this campfire here. And that's the first day. I definitely can see myself doing more of this. If Doom didn't come out, I might play more of it, but I'm just going to play a fuckload of it tomorrow. Chat. I love it. I love it so far. It's it's what I want from Animal Crossing. It's, it's exactly what I want. It's like, got some really good quality of life improvements. It's gonna make playing this a little bit easier, a little bit less of a hassle. Beautiful. Vinny, are you gonna stream it during the day so we get daytime gameplay? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Hour and 40 minutes of Animal Crossing. Pretty good. Definitely worth the wait. And chat, I have one question. Were there any crackles on my voice? Any any crust, like during Shadow of the Colossus? Okay, good, because I used a different USB slot. For my capture card. That might be it. That might have fixed it. Well, Animal Crossing, see you soon. Chat, this is the birth of a lot of Animal Crossing streams yet again. It's a glorious time for video games. Not much else. Alright, so... We're not gonna take a BRB. We're going to do... Hang on. Almost ready. Preparing to launch Doom Eternal. I did my uh, driver updates and everything. <laughs> 